Right, good morning everybody to week two of Cotswold for Beginners and uh, we're doing Jockey to the Fair Ilmington and I would like to hand you over to Andrew Knight and Lynn Steele. Morning. Morning. Um, we're going to uh, go through today with part two. We're going to finish the chorus and cover the first slow uh, this morning. But before we do that, I thought we would just literally go through the bits that we did last time um, so we can run directly from one into the other um, and you can get everything then lined up um, as it goes on through. Um, we've looked at the feedback. We've tried to action as much of it as we possibly could. And so the curtains behind me are closed, so I'm not so contrasty. There's nothing I can do about the rear view one, I'm afraid, or, or Tony won't be able to see me, um, which is going to offer us a lot of musical problems. So hopefully the music part we've also sorted out. We've tested that this morning for you. Um, and the full dance, for those who wanted to see it in advance, was available on the video link that we gave you. So hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at that in, in the week. Of course, everybody's been practicing. Yay! Um, so you'll all be completely up to speed with the first bit, which will follow warm up, of course. OK, so we're going to get up and do the warm up now. <clears throat> so the first bit is to move your hands. Elbows and wrists. through their full ranges of movement with increasing vigour. Apologise for those people with low ceilings. I've got a lampshade right here. And then picking up the knees, pointing the toes, Keeping the arms working, so you do crossing movements as well as up movements, as well as side movements and forward movements. And the trick is trying not to look like John Cleese. And then start with some stepping just to increase the vigour a bit. This is a good time to check on your technique. You remember last week I was saying about the kicking of the leg in front of you in stepping rather than the running on the spot form. <clears throat> and when your breathing has risen, and you're obviously warmer than you were before. Start with some of the more complex movements, like a sidestep. In the sidesteps, make sure that the foot crosses behind. And then turn a galley, not that you'll need them in this. It does get the hips moving. <clears throat> and take a rest, but keep moving. By now, you, if you've done it right, your breathing should be quite deep. But you're still able to talk. And that's about the best position to get to for a, a warm-up. If people can't uh, see my feet, please let them, let somebody know. Um, and what you'll find is I'm wearing black feet today rather than white ones. So hopefully you'll get to see them a bit better. One of the questions that we had in the feedback was just to recover the single step to step jump piece. Um, as I, apparently I wasn't as clear for some as I could have been. So I'm just going to do that one first and then we'll do the full foot up. 
Okay. <clears throat> so for the single steps, you're literally doing a step and a hop and a step and a hop and a step and a land. That will cover two bars of music and it will get you through that whole end section that we do and that piece will be on the end of all of the sections. The arm movements to go with it are step and hop, step and hop, step, land. <clears throat> You'll notice that it's a very quick change of movement because you want to end with your hands up, high up, at the, the last point that you're going to do as you land because it's a present movement that you're going to make on that. So the whole thing together is going to be step, hop, step, hop, step, land. And those of you who are very observant will have noticed I wasn't quite on what I said, but there or thereabouts, how it works for you, I'm happy with, but that's the kind of thing we're looking for. Step, hop, step, hop, step, land. <clears throat> what I would encourage you to do is to not overthink the very sharp flicky movement but think about where your hands need to be when you're going to make the step as that will actually just happen naturally uh, under those kinds of uh, circumstances. Um, over concentrating and worrying on it is almost invariably going to lead to a problem. Are we all now happy with that or would you like to do it again a couple of times? Right, we've got one with our hands on their head, so we need to repeat. One that I can see anyway. Um, okay, so it's step, hop, step, hop, step, land. From the side, step, hop, step, hop, step, land. I'll let Lynn show you as well, so you can see a different person doing it. Okay, so step, hop, step, hop down. <laughs> step, hop, step, hop down. So you've got to bring them down, up, down, up. Okay. You should finish the movement here. When your feet together, your arms should be up, ready for the next whatever you're going to do. Okay, um, again, are we good to go? Yes. We are. Anybody saying no? Can you see? The hand signals. This is I'm um, happy or oh, please repeat it. We're all good. Okay, so just to run through the foot up and the first part of the chorus again, just to re-explain that, you're going to start in with a jump and then you're going to do one, two, three, and one, two, three, and, and then six lots of double step, two single steps and a step jump. That's the foot up. Let's get that far first. A music, please, Tony, and we'll have it with music. doing lots of that practice today because we're going to be doing the chorus next. 
Last time we started on the chorus and I went through the side step movement and the elbow literally nailed into the side. And then the opening of the side step, so the feet coming apart, second step coming behind, then across, and then <clears throat> keeping going, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then a hop. And then going back in the other direction, exactly the same. Basically it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. Everybody remembers that? Fantastic. That's brilliant. Okay, so the next part of the chorus is a combination of double stepping and playing capers. Uh, it goes on for as long as it needs to. So we're going to do two double steps, four capers, two double steps, four capers, and then the single step end piece. I'll just run through as a demo the, the whole chorus for you, and then we can try it. Um, two notes into B, please, Tony. questions on that or is it better just to experience it and let's go through right okay we'll do exactly the same thing again you'll hear the end of the a music and then we will go yes jane no problem um <clears throat> so we can then go through the whole chorus music Have a breather a moment. Was that okay for the feet, Jane? <clears throat> Again, please, when you're ready. Oh. <laughs> Was I back far enough for the feet? Okay, that's brilliant. Does anybody need to go through that again or are we all good? Can you okay. just, so, sorry, can you just explain how you're getting from the final capers into that last jump bit? Is it the same as in the foot up because it looks slightly different to me? Is it still the... two single steps? The end section for the chorus, the last two bars, is exactly the same as the foot up one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> if I'm not doing it exactly the same, that's incompetence on my part, not because that's not what it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so you will have done four capers 
and then you're going to go straight into that end section, that last two bar end section. Okay, hands in capers. The hands in the capers are from high up to down on the first caper, back to the high up position on the second caper, back down again fully on the third and back up to the high up position on the fourth. That leaves your hands in the correct place to start on the single steps that you're going to follow it or the double steps which will follow it depending upon where you are in music. Hey, do you need any more on that, Jan? Uh, straight up and down. It's a straight movement. <clears throat> it's the one that I do. So you're doing literally down, up, down, up. We've not danced it with the flair on the end. Um, if you can do that, brilliant. Go for it. Have no reason why not. But we tend not to because we've danced a lot of field town, so we do them the same as that. Right, we all good. So whole dance from the beginning up to the end of the first chorus. Intro A, A and B, please, Tom. quick breather and then we'll do that again whilst we're catching breath is there anything anybody needs to cover tap it in the chat That's great. Let's do that again. Then it's the end part. It's two single steps, step and land. And it's the same as on the end of the uh, foot up sequence. Can you let me know whether you're having trouble with both end sections or just one? Because if you're not having trouble with one, you've got the other. 
Okay. <clears throat> uh, we're on slightly slow timing, Jess. There is enough time. You're probably trying to rush. <laughs> In fact, there's loads of time. Loads and loads. So you do have to do a bit of hang time for this. Okay, Glenis, the, um, the ending is four plain capers, two single steps, step and land. So it's exactly the same. It's you're going to do the single steps immediately after the four plain capers. Can we just cover that last little bit, please? And I'll do it without music for now. Okay, the end of the B section, the very end, the last four bars are going to be caper, 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 one, sorry, start again, caper, 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 one, hop, two, hop, step, band. <clears throat> are we good? We are. If we're not, Glenis, I'll come back to you. Okay, so whilst we're ending up catching breaths, let's take a look. Thank you. Uh, let's just take a look at that first slow. The first slow is. Um, A group of movements, <coughs> cross hops, or cross apart together, and there are three elements, and we're going to dance them five times through, so they don't entirely fit with the music. So you have to hold your nerve. You have to make sure that you hear music until you're used to it. If you're musical particularly, the beats will catch you out. Now for those mathematicians amongst you, you'll have realized that there's a beat missing. So what do we do with the extra one? Is a pause and a rise of the hands ready for the final bit. The final bit is two double steps, two singles and a step land. Okay, so this, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Um, and then I'll get Lynn to demo it as well. Um, well, actually, while well, I'm catching my breath, Lynn can demo it because she's been stood there for a minute. Okay, sure. Okay, so the feet are going to cross, right foot across in front, apart, together, and then the other foot, cross, out, together, cross, out, together, cross, out, together, cross, out, together, and get ready for the next bit. So five times is one. Okay. <laughs> and the arms are balanced throughout. Yeah. Okay, do that again. Okay, here we go. One, up, together. Okay, should we try that with some music? Apologies, I stuffed it up. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, 
And I've stuffed it again. Please watch Linda. <laughs> I figured out afterwards that having the music here means you can't see Linda. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we can if she speaks, I think. Try it. It did work earlier. Oh, yeah, but we've got no. music on this one, so. Never mind, I'll just have to do it. <laughs> yes, and if it's speaking here, it will pick up the music rather than me. do it really <laughs> as long as I'm not looking at you I'm fine okay we're going to do that again and what I'd like to do is to go through that maybe three times through with the music continually so you can just hitch back in when you need to um, so if you do make an error then just hitch back back in and uh, and, and then carry on okay Continual C's, please. Okay, catch your breath, because I'm sure I need to. <sighs> Saskia, Lynn's correct. <sighs> the right foot goes across first. Although to be fair, if it's just you, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna end the section with your feet together so you can take off on your right foot next go anyway. <clears throat> uh. 
Uh, yes, Jan, that's correct. Uh, Cheryl, you're on your heels. <laughs> the point being made is the fact that it hurts your shins. <clears throat> uh, shin splints is a real is a real issue, something that I face in practice every now and again. Um, and it's generally speaking because you're not using your ankles correctly. And if you're not using your ankles correctly, you'll get a lot of shock up through the shin bones. If you're not allowing your ankles to flex, then you will be pooling blood in your calves, all which will create cramp and shin splints uh, in the longer term. So remember to be on your toes and then make sure that you're doing a little bit of bounce with the, with the foot in order to try and get that to, to work. I'm going to um, ask another Koki member just to chip in here, Jules. <clears throat> Do you have anything to add since your professional life has been in that area? She doesn't. She's now looking massively embarrassed and she's yelling at me, but I can't hear her because she's muted. <laughs> I'm unmuted. Um, the only thing I would add is just think about your footsteps to go down with a nice spring, but you've sort of said that just so you're not jarring too much. <clears throat> Uh, just to put you in the picture, Jules is a, a physio in her former life. Okay. So, still do uh, a lot of patients, <laughs> but they're just friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're still working on biomechanics. We talk the same language, and um, you know anything she has extra to offer would be well useful to us to to use. So um, <clears throat> just make sure that if you are getting shin splinty on it, then <clears throat> just get that spring going in through the in through the foot. And if you do any heel landings at all, you will be introducing shock. So please keep up on the toes when you're dancing. It will also mean that you can push off with your toes to get the extra height. And that extra height means the musical speed becomes right. Especially if you push off of the first footfall, two quicker ones afterwards, and then a bigger hop. And that will give you the musical inflection for this dance as well, where you don't have even timing of footfalls in a bar. And that will give you musicality in what you're dancing. So that any musicians, it'll definitely be there. OK, we're going to run through the C's again, please, just because I really do want to give Cheryl shin splints. So the next time that I see her on the other side of the hills, I'll have to pull her leg. <laughs> Not sure we should unmute her. It might be something she doesn't want to have everyone to hear. I shall probably hear all about it tomorrow. <laughs> C's, please continue for a minute.
Have a break. <clears throat> Do we have any more questions? Apart from it being really tiring, is everybody happy with it? <laughs> this is obviously a new definition of happy I've not yet come across. <laughs> I promise I'll dance next week. I'll catch up. Because <laughs> you're looking like having too much fun now and I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so while Jan's having a lie down. <laughs> okay no questions on that so we could do the whole lot right from the beginning through the first slow into the second chorus if you want to rest quick find a question to ask <laughs> <laughs> They're all ready to go. Look, they're all up on their feet. This they are brilliant. brilliant. Absolutely okay, brilliant. Carry on. Um, hold on, it's up to there, please, Tone. <clears throat> Good, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you. Take a breather. Of course, I realise the technical hitch is that the rear view doesn't show quite enough of the room. So when I got into the rear view, Tony couldn't see me, hence the hitch. Um, once you've caught your breath, we'll do that again. <clears throat> Right, in the meantime, ask questions. <clears throat> As in, please ask questions because Andrew's like a break. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. It, it appears that Tanya has brought, a, I don't know, Tanya, uh, you brought along the, uh, no, she doesn't want to speak, but she's brought along the youngest person who's attended our Ooh. workshop. I have, she's 11 months old. <laughs> and she's absolutely loving it. She's, uh, she's, she's disappeared again for the minute, but uh, she keeps coming back to me and wanting to be picked up and to join in. <laughs> Excellent. Start them young. 11 months, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she's beautiful. Can you just say in words the last part of the chorus? So we do caper, 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 caper. Single step, single step, okay. step, land. So, uh, but it seemed longer than that. So is it caper, 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 then some single steps and some more capers? Um, if I go through the whole chorus, because it repeats itself, there are more than one set of capers. Right. So the whole chorus would be the double side step, 
right. Yeah. Double side step left. Yeah. Two double steps. Yeah. Four plain capers. Yeah. Two double steps. Four plain capers. Two single steps. Step land. Ah, it's the it was the second lot of capers that I got confused. Right. Okay. okay. Um Thank you. Jonathan's iPad, is that what you meant? Uh, Janet, yes, could you just run through that? Yeah. Just you mean the slow? Run through the, 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 cape, the actual caper step. The actual caper. Uh, do you mean the slow? The actual, the actual caper. For, you, you, I can't get my legs right. You can, the mark all back it's difficult to see okay sorry your sound is not coming through my end at all um and um, um, i i don't know whether you mean the slow or the capers in the chorus at this stage the slow, the slow. okay the slow footing <clears throat> the slow footing is land on across feet Take off, land on feet, part. Take off, land on feet together. Take off, cross the other way. And so on. Is that, is that okay? Is that what you needed? I, I think she wants the capers because she dances with the same group as me and we don't do capers, so it's a bit alien to us. Yeah, yeah so, that's fine. I, I, that wasn't what I meant. For. I, I think it's actually doing capers that we can't do because we don't dance capers, so it's very new. That's it, Sarah, yeah. Okay, well, it's a big leap from one foot to the other with a kind of a ching in front of you. Um. Lynn looks like she's getting up. Pin Lynn. Okay. <laughs> it's the ching. <laughs> Am I, can you see me okay? Right. So, yeah. So, you're going to literally, if I do it without a big leap, it's just one foot to the other foot, like that. That's all it is. But obviously, you're trying to make it higher and lift up your knees. So, it becomes there, 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 there. Okay, so it's just one foot to the other foot. That's all it is, but make it bigger. Lots of pushing off the floor. So there's no bounce on your foot that's on the floor, because that's what my foot seems to want to do. The foot that's on the floor wants to bounce before I do the next hop. But I should just be, it's just one foot, one foot and the other foot. Yeah. So yeah. literally just there. there. Yeah. I think I think the trouble is we probably do what dances that we bounce on one foot once it's up there. So you would yeah. you would, but that's the single step. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's the main difference. Yeah. To, to, to take, Lynn, did you want to say anything else? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Um, what I was going to add was um, a Morris step is a change from one foot to the other, but in order to do it without falling on your backside, you have to go up in the air a bit. So the change is actually you lift the foot off the ground before putting the other one down. And that's the way that it's done. So you end up going up with one and down with the other, literally like that. Yeah. All a caper is, is a very big one of those. Can, can. It's all right. I'll cope with that. You can do. Mm. But then, you know, if you're wearing the dresses. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's all it is and and people use all sorts of different stylings with it <laughs> um and the stylings are to do an extra shake of the free leg to get the bells to ring or a really high hick of the knee and the, the foot up under your backside and and um you know more movement forward in the kick um, but they're only stylings 
their, their different traditions will do things in different ways like that. Um, but Ilmington is a fairly straight leg tradition, so there's not a huge amount of flailing of limbs in it, really. Okay, so you're all looking as if you've got your breaths back, That's so we'd better do the whole thing again. Bruce, yeah, Bruce, thanks very much. That's very helpful. Good. Great. You're welcome. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> okay. Um, whole thing again then right from the top <clears throat> Okay, in the next two minutes, is there anything you want me to cover before we warm down? Fantastic. So this week's homework is to get through it to that point. Um, make sure your hamstrings are in good order for next week because we're going to be doing some leg kicks. <laughs> okay, so warming down, you should be moving about, literally just to stretch the muscles, go to their stretchy point, hold them there, come out slowly. <clears throat> okay, I'll do that, Lynn. And um, just keep yourself moving around, big movements and uh, keep yourself moving around while we were there. Uh, for Lynn, the other hand in the side steps is just literally to your side. To be fair, I don't even know what I do with it. It just sits there. So, um, so I'm leaving it to just dangle on the side. Okay, so continue your warm down. Um, either pin Jules's phone or uh, Lynn or myself, or even Pauline, who is um, sitting down, warming down, just to make sure her fingers are stretched nicely for the from all that keyboard work she's been doing. I'm going to hand over to you, Pauline.